So building a happy workforce in 2019 is kind of twofold. I see there's, there's kind of like the, the hiring phase. You want to make sure you have the right people. You can't um, make up for the wrong hire by training. Um, so it's, it's, really, it's really making sure that you have the right people first and foremost. And some of that starts with establishing some of your core values in the restaurant and, and having some sort of mission that people can rally behind. Um, after you've got the right people in place and you feel strong about your workforce, um, the next part is really trying to keep them engaged. And so some of the things that um, some restaurants are, are, are using uh, to do that are, you know, getting to know your employees a lot better and getting to know what do they like to do outside of work? You know, do they like photography? You know, how can you, you know, and maybe there's an opportunity to take pictures on the menu, you know, maybe like, you know, trying to get at some of their, their core interests and, and, and bringing them out in the restaurant um, builds a little bit more engagement. Also team collaboration is a huge thing. You know, if you're rejigging the menu and changing up your cocktail menu, make it an event invite more staff, you know, allow people to vote on which, which cocktails they like the most and which ones are going to make it on the menu. There's a lot of creative stuff that you can do that just encourage more team collaboration and make it a really fun atmosphere. And, you know, flexibility is a, is a huge thing. So, you know, QSR Magazine did a study around happiness in the workplace and they found that people valued first and foremost flexibility of having a job, you know, the satisfaction um, of, of working with others and, and lastly, pay, you know, that's pretty shocking to know that pay was cited as the last uh, factor in, in you know, them being happy at a workplace. And so it's really important that you have a strong emphasis on your people and, um, and making sure you're, you're empowering them, being flexible with them, um, but also being transparent and open about you know, the needs for the business and what you're trying to accomplish. So I think that in 2019, there's going to be more, in 2019 there are more restaurants that exist. People are opening you know, thousands of restaurants all the time. So what are you doing as a restaurateur to differentiate from that person uh, and, and preventing that person from potentially going to work at another restaurant uh, across the street for maybe a little bit more? I think people really need to understand the culture that, it, that they have um, in the restaurant because most people just want to work around people they like working with. So if you have the hiring process nailed, that's like the hardest part you've, you've completed. Um, and now it's just a matter of making sure those individuals that already enjoy working each other with each other feel empowered and, uh, and they feel like there's a, there's, it's a place that they want to come. I don't know, I feel like I ramble a little bit. You guys can cut it up and make it like not terrible. We'll try. <laughs>